But I've always found religion to be fascinating. Ideas such as uh, how people act on their beliefs. Pro-lifers murdering doctors. <laughs> Pro-lifers murdering people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's irony on the base level, but I like it. You know what I mean? It's real basic irony, but still, you can get a who. It's a who. It's a fucking who. You're pro-life, it will kill your ass. That's what fundamentalism breeds, though. No irony, you see. They take the word literally, you know. Fundamentalist, yeah. Well, once again, I recommend a healthy dose of uh, psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> Three weeks ago, two of my friends and I went to a ranch in Fredericksburg, Texas and took what Terrence McKenna calls a heroic dose. Five dried grams. Let me tell you, our third eye was squeegeed quite cleanly. Wow. And I'm glad they're against the law. <laughs> you know what happened when I took them? I laid in a field of green grass for four hours going, my God, I love everything. <laughs> the heavens parted, God looked down and rained gifts of forgiveness onto my being, healing me on every level, psychically, physically, emotionally. And I realized our true nature is spirit, not body, that we are eternal beings and God's love is unconditional. And there's nothing we can ever do to change that. It is only our illusion that we are separate from God or that we are alone. In fact, the reality is we are one with God and he loves us. Now, if that isn't a hazard to this country, you see my point. How are we going to keep building nuclear weapons? You know what I mean? What's going to happen to the arms industry when we realize we're all one? <laughs> it's going to fuck up the economy. The economy that's fake anyway. <laughs> Which would be a real bummer, you know. You can see why the government's cracking down on the idea of experiencing unconditional love. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it interesting that two drugs that are illegal, alcohol and cigarettes, two drugs that do absolutely nothing for you whatsoever. <laughs> and drugs that grow naturally upon this planet, drugs that open your eyes up to make you realize how you're being fucked every day of your life. <laughs> Those drugs are against the law. Wow. Coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure their motives are pure, but uh, uh, isn't that great? Mushrooms grow on cow turds. I love that. I think that's why you giggle the first hour. <laughs> it's growing cow turds. Heaven is in a cow's butt. <laughs> I know where heaven is. Where? In a cow. Oh my God, <laughs> lift me up out of this illusion, Lord. Heal my perception that I may know only reality and only you. Stuff like that. <laughs> I took mushrooms and went to Astro World and I had a really bad time. Here, <laughs> <You're> a <laughs> They are sacred, go to nature to be on the black dragon tripping. I would fucking be puking man about 50 yards with each hurdle of the black dragon. <laughs> Possessed dragon. I just think it's interesting to see how people act on their, their beliefs, you know what I mean? Because all your beliefs, they're just that. They're nothing. There's how you were taught and raised. That doesn't make them real. 
that's why I always recommend a psychedelic experience because it it does make you realize everything you learned is in fact just learned and not necessarily true. Not all drugs are good now. Okay, some of them are great. <laughs> just got to know your way around them is all. I've had good times on drugs. I've had bad times on drugs too. I mean, shit. Look at this haircut. <laughs> there are dangers. I think some of y'all have tripped here before, perhaps. Eh? I used to love tripping, man. There's always one guy when you were tripping who wants you to do something to enhance the trip. You know what I'm talking about? You're tripping? Oh, dude, you gotta play miniature golf. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. I'm just sitting over here watching the pyramids be built by UFOs right now, but... Get me to that fucking golf course. I'm watching Jesus fly around on a unicorn, but I bet that little miniature golf will be just the thing to make this trip peak. <laughs> so you guys can use your legs, huh? No, it's just that I'm turning into a fish right now, and uh, how about I meet you there later? Yeah. Thanks, I'm pretty fucking high right now. Thank you. You know, you just gotta be careful. Like, I don't know what you gotta be, fuck it. We got pulled over tripping on acid one night, pulled over by the cops. Don't recommend it. <laughs> Cops don't appreciate fish driving around. <laughs> they frown on that. Long night, man. Cops were tapping on this window. We're staring at them in this mirror. <laughs> How tall are you? It's a little car. Look at him. How does he drive that big fucking car? Uh, there could be thousands of them. Shoot. What are we going to do? Let's put him in the jar. It made perfect sense at that moment. Put them in a jar, poke some holes in the lid, leave them by the road. You never get us, coppers. <laughs> we'll send some little firemen to let you out. Hey, I bet they know where the miniature golf course is. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Look at they scared us. Son, you want to stand up, please? <laughs> I just found the driver. <laughs> we don't need a driver, we're playing miniature golf. <laughs> True story. Now, later when I was released, I mean spiritually, I feel I'd like to see some ID. I'm me, he's him, you're you. Put your hands against the car, please. Which one? The UFO, the unicorn, or your cruiser? 